Retriever, and she is right here and she is very needy. Hi Chloe. Do you want to tell the people hi? Do you want to tell them hi? Hi, these are my new parents. This is my new mom. Where do I even begin? First of all, it's been a long time since I've been on here. A very long time. So welcome to my vlogs. Um, yeah, it's been a minute and there's a lot to catch up on. Like, I got another dog and the other one is over there. He's, he's getting better. First he was really mad but I think he's starting to warm up to her. He was just confused as to why a huge dog is in her apartment. So let's just go all the way back to when I found out about her and that she needed to be rehomed. She belonged to someone I work with and they just needed to rehome her, not for any bad reasons. It was more so because they wanted her to have more freedom and to not be crated all day while like they're working and stuff like that because we don't leave Oliver crated any time when we leave him alone. <laughs> Um, she's going crazy right here. Chloe would be left home crated and they just wanted her to have more freedom and more like pretty much just to be able to be in a home where she didn't have to be crated all day. And when I first heard of it, I was like, oh, like, you know, hopefully you find someone. And like the only reason I immediately wasn't like, yes. And then like brought it up to my boyfriend was because we live in a one bedroom apartment and this was brought up like two, maybe three months ago. And yeah, I was like, there's no way that we're gonna bring a huge dog and still have that much left on our lease and then time passed and then i asked the person like oh like have you found a home for her or whatever and they're like no we're still searching like they're being very picky they wanted they wanted her to go to a home like where they knew the person or at least knew that she would be like very well taken care of and like not abused and things of that sort because they really loved her they just wanted her to have like a better life like i keep saying more freedom so i was like let me I'm, in my head i'm like i'm gonna bring it up to my boyfriend and see what he says so i brought it up to him i was like hey so and so is trying to rehome their dog and like you know she's so cute she's a golden retriever she's trained like we wouldn't have to go through the puppy dog phase etc etc that was another big thing for us that like she's four years old already she's potty trained she listens to commands even though when we first got her it's been a little bit hard because she obviously doesn't trust us or know us like that to be listening to us so we've been having to like train with her which is totally fine i was like and at this point i think we had like two months left on our lease <laughs> that's her nose right there and my boyfriend was like oh. like once i sent her a picture he's like oh my god like she's so pretty or she's so cute like let's take her blah 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 and i'm just like how are we gonna do it so i spoke with the person i was like is there any way that we can like push out taking her in until like closer to the end of our lease date just so we don't have to you know like have her in the small apartment where she doesn't have so much space to roam around and it ended up working out perfectly to where this person um was going on vacation the first week of march and our e our east our lease ends like mid-april we actually already have a place locked in so that's a whole other thing so we're like okay i think we can make it work with like a month a month and a half of her being here and you know like not being a big deal so we're like are we doing this like do we want to say yes so we ended up setting up a date to go like meet. oh watch out chloe see what i mean it's so tiny in here that like she doesn't have room to roam around i don't know what i was saying i got distracted i put her in her crate because she's being a little crazy right now oh we ended up setting up the date for us to go meet her and for oliver to also you know meet her and see how they vibe with each other like if you know anyone of them is aggressive or whatever and it went good oliver since he goes to daycare he's around dogs all day long he's like very friendly with dogs he's just a little bit like standoffish when it comes to big dogs because he's so tiny when he, they first met each other he didn't even acknowledge her but like now that she's been in an apartment he's been a little bit more like 
timid I guess you could say but also feisty so I don't know he's definitely warming up to her anyways when they first met everything went good so we're like okay I think it's a go um like we'll take her <laughs> so we met her and then I think like two three weeks after that is when we picked her up which was a week ago now I got her last Thursday and today is Saturday so she's been with us for a whole week and honestly she's been adjusting so good she hasn't really shown any signs of like sadness that's another thing I was worried about I'm like what if she like goes through a depression phase or like just is sad because she's obviously been used to her other family f since she was a baby but she's been doing really well she's super friendly she wants a lot of love and a lot of cuddles she is pretty good at listening but still needs a little bit of reinforcing and training she does amazing in the crate she does well out of the crate so like the first day that she stayed home alone when my boyfriend and i worked we left her in the crate all day long because we just didn't know how it was gonna go after that i like tested it out with her kind of just leaving her alone out of the crate seeing how it went and she did really good so now she stays out of the crate home alone but i still am not leaving the two dogs together alone because god forbid something happens i don't think any of them would do anything but you just never know so we've still been taking all of her to daycare like three times a week just because my boyfriend and my schedule what my boyfriend's work schedule and my schedule kind of overlap he only needs to go three days a week which is good because chloe is also only alone three days a week not like five days a week yeah here we are you guys this is chloe she is a four-year-old golden retriever she's a beautiful girl she just wants a lot of love and a lot of kisses oh and also she's a big girl she is 75 pounds but look at her look at her nose oh my goodness hi say hi to the people chloe and then there's mr ollie over here could not be bothered stay but yes this is her look at her compared to oliver this is her little crate over here the thing that we have on top is like the outside outdoor beds we just have it on top because we have nowhere to put it for now but yeah she fits super comfortable in there she loves being in her crate which is great another thing too we always knew we wanted a big dog but that wouldn't happen until like we moved to a bigger home a bigger place somewhere where we can have a yard for the dogs to run around and stuff like that when this opportunity fell onto our laps we're like well we know we're moving into a bigger place when we're done with this lease we know we're gonna have you know enough space to be able to have a big dog like i mentioned earlier like she's already fully trained we don't have to go through the whole process of like the puppy dog phase and all that stuff like that like she's she's solid <laughs> so we just couldn't pass it up and like she's like I keep saying, she's so full of love. Like she's very needy because she wants a lot of love and attention. So we're trying to teach her that it's like, she's gonna get the love when we give it to her, not when she's like forcing us to love on her. So yeah, we just couldn't pass it up and we're super excited to like have her and like, you know, give her a happy life, even though she was very loved before. Do you like being with us, Chloe? Do you like your new family? You like your new brother? Is he a little crazy sometimes? Get to go, girl. We're gonna go potty outside right now, okay? We're gonna go potties. Come here. Hold on. Chloe, stay. Hey, that's a good boy. Why do you keep reverse sneezing? Come here, Chloe. Come here, give me your paw. All over, dude, chill out. Oh, that's a good girl. Okay, let's take this off of you. Alright, 
Chloe, please. Uh, come on. Yes, good girl. Stay. Oliver, please. Yes, good boy. Stay. Good girl. Chloe, free. Oliver, free. Good doggies. <laughs> That's currently what mornings look like. She didn't go number two, which she normally does, but she didn't go right now. So I'm going to have to take her out again. But yeah. That's how my weekends have been looking like in the mornings, just giving both of them attention, training with them, and loving them. I got them both a matching bone, one big one and one tiny one. Um, that way they can each have their own and not like try to resource guard. They've been good about it, but um, I'm gonna give them bone now so they can spend some time chewing on it and burn some energy. Oliver doesn't care for them much, but she loves it, so. Ollie, go to place. Go. Good girl. Free. <laughs> now they're both just gonna play with it for a while. I just made myself some breakfast. I have my coffee that I have yet to finish and I just made a little breakfast sandwich with eggs, cheese, um, bacon, and some avocado. Well, that was clearly delicious, but <clears throat> I've actually been slacking on taking my vitamins. I think I haven't taken them in like two weeks. So today we start taking them again. Saturday, so let's take out the Saturday. I'm not gonna take all of these right now, but I do take um, fish oil, turmeric, vitamin D and a probiotic but I will take these later with my next meal and I will take these right now this apartment is literally a cave like you guys don't know how excited I am to move out of this apartment I feel like a big part of why I haven't been filming in so long and just in general like I haven't even been uploading on TikTok is because I feel so unmotivated in this apartment like it's so small it's so dark we get no natural lighting in here and not only that like the last two months it's been so gloomy so rainy it's like that season here in Tennessee or Nashville and yeah it's been annoying and I just feel like that seasonal depression is slowly coming out slowly leaving because it's March now so spring is literally right upon us but yeah I cannot wait for the sunnier days and I'm just over this place given i am very grateful for it i'm always grateful for the home that i have where i live but i just think you know it's a little small and we're definitely outgrowing it especially now with having a dog in here we're ready to get out but literally in like three weeks we get the keys to our new place so so excited also i don't know if i've talked about this probiotic it's the just thrive probiotic i am obsessed with it you guys it's like one of the best out there um, I wouldn't be able to tell you all the facts because I would have to look it up exactly, but it works so well with bloating, gas, and just feeling comfortable with your gut. I took a before and after picture not too long ago of a night where I had like pizza and I was feeling like super bloated and I took it that night and then the next morning when I woke up, it was like the biggest different. Like I looked pregnant and then the next morning I looked like nothing's there, so... This stuff works so good. And I literally get like all of my vitamin and supplement recs from the Skinny Confidential. I like listen to that podcast religiously and they always have experts, CEOs, entrepreneurs, business owners. And I just love listening to all the different brand owners or business owners and supporting those brands. So I take JS Health, which I heard from the Skinny Confidential, Just Thrive, which I also heard from them, Symbiotica, I need to restock on them, um, on the products. But I love their vitamin C, um, which I also heard on the Skinny Confidential. And then I want to order AG1, which I also heard on there. But I've list I've heard of AG1 like everywhere and on different podcasts. But Skinny Confidential is that girl for like all lifestyle, health, wellness, and literally anything. I'm obsessed. 
you guys my one flaw is that my laundry will literally sit there for a week well actually it'll sit there you can even see the indent of the basket so we're gonna tackle this it's just look. it's just that throughout the week the last thing that i want to do is come home and fold clothes so i literally just let it sit there we'll do another load just throw it in the basket <laughs> worry about it later so on the weekends is usually when I tackle my laundry, but I really, really need to get better at it and just fold it when it's done being washed. Or if I could say I have a flaw, well, I mean, I have many flaws, but that's one of my pet peeves of myself that annoys me. Like I know what I'm supposed to do, but I just don't do it. Another breakthrough that I feel like we're having, which is like amazing, is that Oliver, he's normally the type to like bark when we leave especially now since like she's here like he might be a little jealous but the last two days when I've been like taking her to use the bathroom without him he's like just been watching a sleeve he normally would run to the window to like stare and like bark he didn't do that and I came back normally I would hear him barking like on my way to take her to use the bathroom and then on my way back or just in general and he was not barking at all like silence so i don't know what's going on but i will take it and that's one of our hopes with having chloe that it helps oliver become more independent or just feel more comfortable being home um now that he has someone else to be with her or to be with him he has like bad separation anxiety that's the whole reason we take him to daycare because he can't like stay home alone all day long or he'll be barking and we've gotten noise complaints here before for that reason so that's why we take him to daycare if not we would leave him but we have to be courteous of our neighbors and things of that sort um so we're just hoping that chloe really helps him in that way where he becomes more independent and learns that like it's okay to be alone and um not be so scared or whatever but anyways while i'm here folding clothes i wanted to talk to you guys about us moving because that's like another big thing that's happening very soon and i'm very excited so we've been going like or we've been looking for two months probably since the beginning of the year because we like knew we were gonna move either end of march early april because like i said earlier our lease ends in mid-april but we like just want to be out of these apartments ASAP. And the goal was to get like a house, like a single family home with a fenced yard. And side note, fun fact, for whatever reason in the South, it is very rare if you have a fenced in yard. Like a lot of the yards here are literally just open. Like there's no fences. Like you can just walk out and you see your neighbors or like it's just an open field in the back. It's weird. So for us, it was very important, like, oh, we want, you know, a fenced yard, we have dogs, whatever. But another factor is that the houses are so expensive here right now. Like, honestly, we <laughs> we moved here without, like, realizing, like, we were just excited with the thought of moving to Tennessee, Nashville, that we didn't really look too much into, like, the housing market. Because we were just looking, like, at apartments, but we weren't really looking, like, at houses, like, to purchase or to rent because that wasn't the step that we were at and now that we've been on the hunt for that we're like wow it's very expensive to live here so we learned from that that next time if we move anywhere to always do research on like the housing market and how expensive it is to rent because it's ridiculous so with that being said we started off with the x amount of budget and then realized like oh to get what we want, we're gonna have to raise that budget or we're gonna have to sacrifice some things. That's on our list of like what we want for, a, for our next place. We've looked and looked at many houses and whatnot. We found some that we really liked. We just weren't ready to pull the trigger because we still had like time before our lease ended. And a lot of these houses, like if you put an application, you have to move in within like seven to 10 days or you can't push out the move-in date, so. And we also literally looked like in every area possible, like surrounding Nashville. So right now we live like more in the city, but we, we started to look like more in like the outer cities. Like there's Mount Juliet, there's Franklin, there's like Smyrna, there's um Hendersonville, which are all like 20 to 30 minutes from like downtown Nashville, which we're okay with because we're not like 
living in downtown or trying to be in downtown every day or every weekend like we rarely go to downtown honestly um but there are things that are important to us to be around us where we live like our everyday commute stores that we need whatever and we found some really great areas i'm not gonna say where we're moving to obviously for privacy reasons so we ended up finding a townhome and we originally were like absolutely no townhomes because a lot of townhomes or most townhomes they're like attached to each other kind of like apartments are but they're um like one whole level versus like there being an upstairs downstairs whatever there's just next door neighbors to you and we just didn't want that because townhomes also don't have fenced yards most of them don't that was like one thing in the beginning we're like no absolutely no townhomes but we ended up signing the lease on a townhome because of the price the location and it just made sense deposit wise that was another big factor a lot of these houses are asking like the same amount of rent as a deposit along with like dog fees and like just moving fees and all these things and it was gonna be a lot of money up front for a house and we were just like do we really want to do that and bury that much money in a house right now i don't think so that's why we started going back to the option of moving into a townhome because it's kind of like uh, like if it's with a management company like an apartment complex it'll be very similar to an apartment complex where like you might have a $300 deposit or $500 deposit or no deposit depending on your credit and then like the fees are much lower and like they have move-in specials things of that sort so this community that we found it's a new build community they're literally still building the townhomes they only have like a handful and I think there's only like six people living there right now because it's a brand new community and they had move-in specials they have really good um like deposit it was affordable we're not gonna have to put too much money out of pocket to move in so it just made sense for us the only thing that we're really sacrificing is the whole backyard we're not gonna have a backyard but it's totally fine it's doable we can make it work we do have like a little patio porch area in the back so like we can let the dogs out to use the bathroom type thing but it's not fenced or anything um, it is private like you do have privacy from your neighbors like there's little like fences but there's no fence so like this is a fence to each side of the neighbors <laughs> but there's no fence like right here blocking it so that's the only thing but it's not a big deal they do have a dog park which is like a minute two minutes from where we're gonna be living like the the unit that we're gonna get we'll make it work and Oliver is not one to run he doesn't like run off if like he's off the leash Chloe we're still um, trying to figure that out with her but I don't think she runs off because we tested it out and she like didn't run away she stayed near us so we'll be fine if we go out there with them we could also just put their leashes on doesn't matter it's not gonna be a big deal but it was still very important for us to like have the option to open the door and let them go versus having to put on their leashes having to put on our shoes having to walk to the designated area for the dogs to use the bathroom it's just very inconvenient doing that in apartments and it's like time consuming versus just opening the door and letting them out but yeah it's a three bed two bath town home it's like 1400 square feet it has a garage it has a really cute kitchen way bigger than this apartment i think this apartment's like 600 something square feet so we're in a little shoebox right now so we're definitely gonna have a lot more space and some plans that we have for that apartment which i'm so excited about because it's gonna be like a huge game changer for us we want to convert the garage into a home gym because that's a whole other topic that i could get into and go off but i know i've been talking a lot right now but long story short for our life lifestyles right now and with our work schedules it would just be so much easier and convenient to have a gym accessible like in our home where we could wake up and just go downstairs go to the garage get a workout and get ready for work and go or come home work out and just go to sleep shower whatever versus having to commute to a gym commute back home, shower, get ready, commute to work, or get out of work, go to a gym, drive home, get home late, you get what I'm saying? For our current lifestyles right now and work schedules, it would just make so much sense to have a home gym and it would just, again, be super easy and accessible and just make life so much easier. And I've been really slacking on the gym for that reason because like it takes time out of the day obviously to like go and do that and like i don't want to wake up extra earlier than i'm already waking up for work and i want to come home after work and like be with the dogs and like cook clean do the things that i have to do i've just been like 
really struggling with that right now trying to fit that into my lifestyle because it's i've made it complicated for myself that's just something we want to do to facilitate the lifestyle that we want to have and it just it's just going to be so convenient so that's one of the big plans that we have for that townhouse and i'm very excited about that we got the keys april 1st um today is april 9th so we have like three-ish weeks to start packing and whatnot but we don't need to be in a rush either because um, we have to turn in the keys here on April 20th, so we're still gonna have like two weeks um, until we have to actually be out of this apartment. So I'm just excited. I'm excited for a fresh start, a bigger place, hopefully better lighting. The unit that we picked, it was kind of a gloomy day, so it was kind of hard to tell like if it's gonna be very bright in there or not, but there are big windows and it did seem like plenty of sunlight was gonna come in. Hope that goes well, but I'm excited for decorating. I'm excited for just a new space, new routines, just making it feel cozy and like home. I just feel like this apartment hasn't really felt cozy and homey because like like, there's just things everywhere and like it just feels tight and all that so yeah anyways that's my long rant not rant my long facetime chat that's what we'll call because this feels like a little facetime chat just catching up with you guys letting you know where i'm at in life what's going on and things that are happening and i know that dogs are going to be a lot happier in a bigger space too they can have their own room if they want <laughs> um and of course you guys will get a house tour when we get the keys so super excited about that i just got back from what i attempted to be a walk with both of them but they were both acting a little crazy so i decided to cut my walk short i stopped at the mailbox because um chloe's new id tag got here i need some scissors so i thought i would unbox it with you guys I ordered it from Amazon and it's actually the same company that I ordered all of this and I just really like the quality like it's lasted it doesn't what's the word I don't know what's the word it doesn't tarnish that's what I'm trying to say oh this is so cute Chloe this is official you are ours can I have your collar um, I also ordered her a new collar and leash set because the leash and collar they gave us was a little rinkity dinkity but how cute is this so it just says Chloe and it has little hearts on there. And then the back has our phone numbers. She is, I love how gentle she is. Like when we go to put a harness on her, a collar on her, like she doesn't freak out or anything. So I love that Oliver has gotten so much better. But before he used to like not let us put a harness on him, not let us remove his collar. He has gotten a lot better. But anyways, this is the collar that I got her. It's like a... Um, what do you call this i can't think of any words right now you guys i really want to remember the word i don't know but anyways it's really good for like just wiping it easily and cleaning and it. it doesn't it's not going to hold like smell or stains or if it gets wet it's going to dry quickly so and i also like like the brass detailing i don't like those like super bright gold colors i feel like that looks cheap but this is really cute and this color really complements her and it comes with the last flashing what a matching leash so i really like that cute it has her name on it now little miss chloe i might get oliver one of these as well if they have one in his size he's like extra extra small because he barely has a neck but i think they're super cute and like they're very durable and i just think this would be good for him especially since he goes to daycare and like he gets dirty and sweaty and all that stuff it's gonna be easy to wipe I just grabbed Ollie's look at the differences and this fits him big still like this is way too loose on him but I like this specific little collar for him it's super cute and then this is the um ID tag for him everything is from Amazon and this one's already getting stained too I just noticed that but yeah I will link this stuff if you guys are interested let's put this on Miss Clo Clo come here pretty girl come here this is your collar, so if you get lost, it has our numbers on there, and hopefully someone calls us and say, hey, we have Chloe, come pick her up. And then where's Mr. Ollie? Mr. Ollie, you're going nowhere, huh? Good boy. Okay, off. Hello, doggies. <laughs> Can I help you? Hello, you guys. It's the next day. Um, we've kind of just been hanging out, having a chill morning and just vibing out i honestly starting starting what i can't even talk 
I started my period this morning, so I've just been like having a super slow chill morning and like have done nothing. I've been online shopping for a new friend. Oh, oh, they're besties. Are you guys besties? <laughs> they're learning to like each other. Um, I've just been online shopping for furniture for the new place because let me set you guys down. It's easier this way. I feel like my life is literally all about dogs now. She wishes she can sit on my lap like Ollie. He's been very angry that she's here, but I think he's like definitely warming up. Damn boy. I'm just watching them. I was saying that um, for the new place, I definitely want to get new furniture. I'm going to keep some like the bedroom stuff. I'm not getting anything new for the bedroom just because the nightstands are new. The dresser is new. The dresser is not my favorite, but I'll keep it for now. And then maybe like later on, I'll switch it. But it's not a priority to get a new dresser right now. So that stuff I'm not even touching. The new stuff that we're going to need, we're definitely going to need a dining table. We're going to need obviously dining chairs. I already found the set that I want. Well, it's not a set, but I found the table and the chairs that I want. I just need to make sure it's going to fit in the little dining area, which I'm pretty sure it's going to fit. I desperately want a new TV stand. The one that I have is fine, but we've just had it since our Scottsdale apartment. And I'm just like over it. Like, I don't want it anymore. I want something new and just kind of switch up the vibes. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning. Just kind of like looking at options. I don't want to get anything expensive when it comes to furniture because I've told myself and my boyfriend, like I don't want to invest in furniture pieces that are like super expensive over a thousand dollars until like I buy a home or until we buy a home. Cause right now we're living in like temporary spaces and we're buying furniture for these temporary spaces. Like, so the furniture is revolving around the specific measurements or the specific style of this house so i don't want to invest in something that i'm not going to have for a super long time do you understand what i'm saying and either way like if i can find very cute furniture or the style that i'm going for for an affordable price why not so i found some really good stuff on walmart target of course like half of my furniture is like from target um and then amazon that's kind of where i've been looking and also world market walmart world market has um really good furniture some of it can be on the pricier side but i found a coffee table that i want from there so i'm probably going to create some like mood boards just to see how it all looks together yeah that's what i've been up to i still need to eat breakfast i haven't had breakfast like i, I don't have an appetite i just want to lay here and do nothing